welcome back guys so this is the continuations of functional interface and i'm going to show you some more how to write the lambda expressions so let's say i need to create one more functional interface i'll go for interface and you know that the definitions of functional interface is you need to have only one abstract method you cannot write more than that so let me write one functional interface example okay so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to write annotations as functional interface i'll get compile time error now because i don't have any abstract method inside that so i need to write so let me show you one example where you have operations and it takes two argument of type a comma type b okay so you have a method which will take two argument right now your requirement is this operations you have multiple operations and based on the input your this operation should perform so it can be addition it can be subtractions it can be multiplications it can be division right so how do you write the function for that let us see that how do we write the functions create a class called example2 and let us start with writing the functions so take the reference of the functional interface create a reference click on control space bar it will give you the options what reference you want and then since this time your lambda expressions is taking two argument got it so i can write here a, sorry int a comma int b and then arrow and then body of the lambda expressions and here i'm going to do return a plus b right so let's say this i will write add so this is my one lambda expressions which what it will do it will do the it will do the additions it will add two numbers similarly i will copy paste this and i will write here multiply so what this guy will do this guy will multiply similarly i will write one more function called subtract right so this guy will subtract so now you got it you can write three functions now based on your requirement okay you can call the function so let me create a main method main control space bar click on enter main methods get created and then create the object of this class because all functions whatever you have written it is a non static function so you need to have the object of the class to call this now if i will call add okay so if i will call this add functions sorry control space bar why i am not am i doing something wrong add multiply subtract okay add dot operations to tab 3 okay so basically what happens is this is the reference of my lambda expressions right this is the reference of my lambda these are my functions so these three functions i have now on this class reference when i will call add basically this add will give you the reference of your functional interface this is your functional interface right and it has a method called operations so when you call this method operations and when you supply these two argument this two argument 
this two argument basically okay operations dot uh, two argument this will get supplied to your operations method and internally it will perform addition okay it will add this number and it will return so here if you look at the return type what we have we have an integer return type we have an integer so this will return the integer data this will return the integer data now if i if i run this it will work fine and we can see that the data will be added so if i'll go run as java applications you can see that the data got added 5 right similarly if i copy this and instead of add if i will call the other functions called multiply and subtract it will work fine so run as java applications if you look at see it is working fine right we are getting the output but the problem is can we simplify these lambda expressions right can we simplify in much more better way yes we can do that as I told you, your all functions, when you write the functions, when you write the lambda expressions, they are very smart to understand what argument you are going to supply. So let me change the reference name. Here you don't need to write int. Okay. You don't need to write int. So you don't need to define the type of variable. You don't need to define your lambda expressions will very smart to understand that. If I will call add one method here okay and if i'll run that you will get the same output you can see that same output is coming right now let's do one thing let me write here 2.8 okay will this work it is not working because if you look at this here in this operations what input you can supply you can supply only integer type you cannot supply other than that so when you have written this function whatever function you have written okay though you are not given the type here your lambda expressions will resolve this at compile time itself it will resolve this it it is expecting only integer data type so you cannot supply anything else apart from the integer you got my point i mean if it is an integer yes you can supply sort uh, you can supply byte but you cannot supply double kind of data so you can supply only a data of type integer you got my point right clear now can we simplify some more this lambda expressions yes we can let me change the reference so let me make it two 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 and if you look at here one thing control a control shift f so one thing when we see it here is we have only one statement in the body of the lambda expressions right clear then what what is the point of writing this body and what is the point of writing this return see if there is only one statement can't i just write like this right because this lambda is going to return only one value so there is no point of writing the body of the lambda expressions and there is no point of writing the return this all that you write when you have multiple lines don't write for the single lines guys can you see that can you see that how nicely your this much lengthy code okay your almost eight nine lines of code got reduced in the three line and this is the beauty of your functional programming right this was not there before java 8 so this is the beauty of the functional programming now if i will test this subtract 2 it will work in the same way what it worked earlier you can see that same output output has no changes at all so that's how we can write the functions we can write the lambda expressions for functional interface now in next video we will see that one real time example which we often write whenever we work for the project, which we'll see that in next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this.